everybody. Welcome to the, um, Mr. Jeremy, we have a problem and it's a big one. You know how athletes sometimes have routines they go through before the big game? Um, maybe they eat something special, drink pickle juice. Luke Keekley used to get chicken from the roasting company before every home Panther game. Michael Jordan always wore his UNC Tar Heel basketball shorts underneath his uniform. Well, I always eat chocolate before the children's message and I can't find my bag of M&Ms. I've looked everywhere. I mean, I did some cleaning in the kitchen and I just, I don't know where I put it. And I just, I don't think I can do this without them. I need my M&Ms. Ms. Jan, uh, they're, they're up on the cabinet up there. Well, how in the world did they get up there? What was I thinking? Thank you, Mr. Jeremy. Just let me get them down and we'll be good to go, okay? Let me, okay, that's not gonna work. I know, I will use my stool, my, my trusty stool will get it. All right. Here we go. I'm still too short. Um, I know, I know, I know. I will get the ladder. Only take me a minute. Everybody just hang in there, talk among yourselves. Let me get my ladder. Here we go. Have it in no time, and then, then we'll be good to go. All right, make sure that's nice and sturdy. Good, here we go. Yay, I've got my M&Ms. Now we can go on with the children's message. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. That was a whole lot of work for a little bit of candy. But when something is important to us, we do whatever it takes to get it. If we want to win the big game, we practice, practice, practice. If we want to have Aquaman muscles, we work out, work out, work out. If we want to get straight A's, we study, study, study. We do all of those things because those things are important to us. But just like this bag of M&Ms, none of those things really last. The only thing that really matters is this. Jesus, best gift ever. If we're willing to work hard and strain to get rewards and prizes that do not last, what should we be doing to really get to know and follow Jesus? After all, life with Jesus is the only thing that lasts to infinity and beyond. So this week, I want you to take a look at how you spend your time. What are you doing to show people that Jesus is the most important part of your life? Are you reading his word, the Bible? Are you praying to him, talking to him? Are you learning to love and follow him from older and wiser Christians? Are you serving people to ignite a lifelong passion for Jesus Christ? If not, it's time to make some changes. Ask mom or dad, grandma or grandpa to help you come up with a game plan to get to know and follow Jesus better. Jesus is the real deal and he is worth whatever changes 